Die hard Democrat, live free or die. Respect for everyone, proud and humble. Love land of the free and the home of the brave. These are some of the beliefs and philosophies to live by that Roger Chuk had posted on his Twitter page. Roger Rajesh Chuk passed away on January 17th due to cardiac arrest in New York. Described as a great soul and friend to so many people, he would go to the moon to help anyone. Anyone would say that. Roger Chuk held high positions in government and was well known in democratic inner circle. In 2003, Roger Chuk was appointed as Assistant Secretary of State, making him the third most powerful official in New Jersey after Governor Jim McGreevy and Secretary of State Regina Thomas. Governor McGreevy had said about Chuk's appointment that the voices of Asian Americans will be heard. Chuk, a graduate of Atmaram Sanatan Dharm College in New Delhi, became the College Union General Secretary in the early 70s. He counted Congress Party leaders Lalit Makan, Priyaranjan Das Munshi and Ambika Soni as among his friends and peers. He migrated to the U.S. in the 70s. He also steered a signature campaign involving 94 congressmen addressed to late Prime Minister of India Atal Bihari Vajpayee, asking him to desist from war with Pakistan. Roger Chug, a well-known personality, was a strict disciplinarian and the key driver of many community groups and events, including proud Punjabi people. The underlying message for this organization was to celebrate life. Roger Chug was loved by all. I want to empower and unite all the Indians here. I want to see the Gujaratis and Punjabis mingle freely with the Bengalis and South Indians, Roger had said in one of his statements to the press. We have some tributes from the community, including Padma Shri recipient Dr. Sudhir Parekh, on his shocking demise. Our prayers are going, uh, our prayers are with uh, <clears throat> Roger Chuk's uh, family. We miss our gra a great friend. He was a, a real and very genuine community leader. He has done so much for the community, both politically and socially. God bless him and uh, rest in the peace. And we wish uh, uh, and we pray that uh, we all remember him all the time. Thank you very much, Roger. Dear Roger, we'll miss you very much. This is Dr. Sudhir Parikh saying uh, goodbye and rest in, rest in the peace. Thank you. I'm joining a large section of Indian community in New York and New Jersey, grieving due to the sudden heavenly departure of Mr. Rajesh Roger Chuk, popularly known as Roger. I met Roger in 1998. Over the years, he became part of my life and my family, and he used to love my kids. And my children respect him a lot, adore him a lot. They were shell-shocked after hearing this news. As I know Roger, he was very intelligent, well-educated, witty, humorous, big-hearted, and always helpful to everyone whosoever has approached him for any help. After 2008, after retiring from active politics, being a diehard Democrat and um, was in New Jersey government also and uh, involved with the presidential campaign of Bill Clinton and Hillary Clinton, his passion was every month to visit his gracefully aging parents in India. And uh, unfortunately, in 2021, he lost his mother to COVID. That shattered him a lot. He was trying to compose himself. He was trying to put himself back together. And um, he was on the road to recovery in that but unfortunately, he left for his heavenly departure. 
yesterday and being a resident of New York, he still used to come to every day in New Jersey where he started his political and public life. He was, he used to be here by just before lunch time usually and sometime early also. And I never saw this gentleman eating alone. And uh, he used to invite friends for lunch, for snacks. He was fond of cold gappas and chaat and dinner and sometimes breakfast. Whether it is six people or dozen people or more, he never allowed anybody to pick up the tab. He used to pick up the entire tab. That was his daily routine to after dinner, he used to leave for New York, back to New York in around midnight. The community is going to miss a very generous, intelligent, well-educated person who was their voice in political circles, whether it was Democrat and he, he was very well versed in current affairs. And we all are going to miss him. And let's pray to God to bless the departed soul and give strength to his father and sister in Delhi to bear this huge loss.